So there's a handful of directors that I follow religiously. Um, they can, in my eyes, they can do no wrong. I mean, Shane Carruth, most notably, is a fucking genius with writing, direction. Like, he is just like, if you haven't seen Primer or Upstream Stream Color, do yourself a favor and give those movies a watch. They are a couple of my, like, my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Jim Jarmuth, uh, who needs no introduction. I mean, you know, Only Lovers Left Alive is a fucking brilliant classic, you know, just to name a few of, of his movies. And then Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead, uh, who did The Endless and Spring and a few others. And that just, everything they touch is fucking gold. And now I'm telling you, Jim Cummings, I'm putting him in this group of directors, especially after watching this movie. He got a lot of recognition for his movie Thunder Road, but I'm telling you, The Wolf of Snow Hollow, like even before we get into it, if you haven't seen this movie, just stop this fucking video right now and go watch it because it is one of my favorite movies this year. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. Okay, so I'm gonna try and keep this one short, but I'm, I'm just telling you straight up, I am gonna give this movie for a rating, just right off the hop, so if you wanna stop this video afterwards, I'm gonna give this movie an eight and a half. Uh, I fucking loved this movie. In fact, I watched it yesterday and I watched it twice. I, I watched it, sat through it, and I liked it so much that I just watched it again. I just, it's fantastic. I mean, I always preach certain things in lower budget of horror movies. You know what I mean? Like, it has to have a good written story. You know, the special effects don't have to be super on point because we're talking low budget. But you need good acting for sure. And, and pacing, I, I always preach that, pacing, 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 because you don't want your your audience to fucking fall asleep on you or get, you know, uninterested in your movie. And I'm telling you, there is not one second of this movie where you will not be fucking pinned to this screen. Now, it's not, it's not the action that's going to fucking draw you in. It is the fucking acting and the dry humor in this movie. And it's just, it's so well written. It's, it's, Man, oh man, I'm telling you straight up right now, like I know we've still got a, a couple more months here before the end of the year, but this movie, without a doubt, will absolutely be in probably my top five, if not my top three movies of all time. I got to keep a couple spaces open there because I know there's some movies coming up that I want to watch. So, but uh, right now, man, this this movie is fucking killer. It's, let me read the synopsis and then we'll get into it. I don't want to talk too much about it. I don't want to give spoilers for this movie at all because... They do a really good job of, of hiding, you know, certain things about this movie. Now, there's no secret that it's there's a werewolf in this movie, but I don't even want to go into that. So, anyways, Tara grips a small mountain town as bodies are discovered after each full moon. Uh, losing sleep, raising a teenage daughter, and caring for his ailing father, Officer uh, Marshall struggle, struggles to remind himself there's no such thing as werewolves. Okay, and that's what this movie is, man. They live in this small town of Snow Hollow. You know, every full moon, um, you know, women are getting dismembered. Uh, they, they call in, you know, forensics and stuff like that. And they're saying it's some sort of a, a wolf or a creature. And John Marshall, who is played by Jim Cummings. And Jim Cummings, let me just say, directed this movie, wrote it, produced it, and starred in it. And he's just getting started, this guy. Like, I want to see everything this guy touches. Like... Wow, like, I'm telling you, man, you will not be disappointed in this movie. But it, Jim Cummings is in it. Uh, Ricky Lindholm is in this. Uh, the, the legend, the late, rest in peace, uh, Robert Forster is in this, who does, this is his, actually, this is his last movie. This is his last on-screen appearance, too. So, and he killed it. He killed it as, as John Marshall or, uh, you know, his, his dad, who's the sheriff. It was awesome. And then Chloe East is his daughter, I mean, really, the cast is is outstanding. The acting is on point. A lot of times with these low-budget movies, you might have good actors, but they don't always gel with each other. Not the case here. Everyone. It's, it's just, it looks real. It looks like they're just having legit conversations. And the fucking dry humor in this movie. Like, I, I don't remember the last time I laughed so much because it was just, joke after joke after joke but it's not told as a joke it's it's just so dry and it's just oh man I, I i'll tell you man you cannot beat this movie like 
you know, when the werewolf is in this movie, the scenes are okay. That's not the focus of this movie, though. It, it, it's more of a character study of, of Jim Cummings' character, John Marshall, and all the shit that he's got to deal with and go through and how he doesn't believe it's a werewolf. And then he's got, like, dealing with his daughter, who's, who's a teenager. You know, she's graduating high school, going to college. He's got to worry about that. Like, it's just, you know, and his dad's sick, you know, because he's getting older and... Um, it's just, it's a good fucking movie. And he's an alcoholic and, he, and he's got to try and, and deal with that. Like, it's just, I don't know, man. I fucking love this movie. And then all that in there with that character study. And there's like a werewolf movie in this, in this film. And it's, wow, it was refreshing. You know, I've sat down over the last few months and watched a lot of shitty fucking horror movies. Okay. Like, I mean a lot so much so that I actually even took a break. I think it was in June or July. Because everything I was getting sent to me or everything I was watching was just garbage. And this movie proves a point. If you have bang on writing and bang on acting. I've, I mean, I've done a few movies in the last couple of weeks. It's kind of picked up, you know what I mean? Where it's it's gotten way better as far as the acting and the directing. But man, this movie just took it over the edge. And I fucking loved it. I've watched it twice. In fact, I watched it back to back. I liked it so much. So, And I don't normally do that. So anyways... You're going to fucking love this movie. It is, I'm telling you, again, and it's only an hour and 23 minutes. How many fucking times have I sat here and said, a movie's too long because it's an hour and 40 minutes. A movie's too long because it's an hour and 45 minutes. This movie is perfect. It's an hour and 23 minutes. For a low-budget horror movie, you honestly, in, in most cases, you don't need to be any longer than that. You don't. And this movie proves it. It's just, I'm telling you, from the opening scene to the end credits, you will not fucking turn away from the TV screen because the story is spot on and the acting is fucking, is killer. And the jokes, you know what I mean? The dry humor, it's, it's fucking awesome, guys. Like, honestly, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I could probably go higher, but I'm kind of stingy with my ratings. But this is one of, if not the best horror movie I have seen so far this year. And I've seen a lot. And again, the last couple of weeks, there's been some banging movies. I gave a, an eight away later, you know, was it last week? So, but I'm telling you, watch this fucking movie, guys. If you get a chance, watch it, go rent it. It is definitely worth your time. I'm just going to stop there. I'm not, I'm not going to go into the movie. Maybe I'll do a separate review in a week or two with like spoilers and stuff. But for right now, I'm going to shut up, which doesn't happen very often. Go watch this fucking flick. And after you see it, come back and let me know what you thought. And, you know, tell me I'm not over-exaggerating. Uh, you will love this fucking movie. So, anyways, The Wolf of Snow Hollow. Definitely check it out. 8.5 from me, guys. And until next time, stay scared.